Yes. Good evening everyone and welcome to Cayucat Sound. Uh, this is where we're going to be fishing for the next couple of days. Cayucat is located on the uh, northwest coast of Vancouver Island here in British Columbia and it is my fifth year here fishing um, in the summer. Normally we are able to do this trip every uh, first week of July and so we, again we're back at it and we started the evening off by trolling for Chinook with Dave and he's watching one rod while I watch the other. Rod's being a, quite the gentleman this, or this evening and he's letting me go first. We're out here this evening and really we have nowhere to be. It's summer, it's light out late. I just want Why to do we pick trolling this evening? Trolling's generally the technique, right? Okay. Last year you were spoiled with the squid and the bobber, right? <laughs> yeah, There's yeah. tons of squid here, like lots and lots, just not that many Chinooks yet. Well, it comes and goes. The mornings were really, really good. Um, but I'm thinking that later we'll probably just stop and jig squid and see what we can get. Oh, and you the want fish to are try definitely it. eating squid. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna try it. I wanted to troll just to make just to find out where all the where all the bait was. I can see it now. There's been a few fish caught already, but okay. not many yet. Tide change coming. And so why you know like I I've done a lot of ocean trips with Rod and with you guys, but for those who are unfamiliar with those terms, like you're saying, it's it's almost a slack tide. What does a slack tide mean? Uh, slack tide is the time between the high and the low, so the, the, right now the water's running out and okay. then it'll stop, it'll pause, right? And then it'll change directions and come back in, but in that pause that's when all the fish feed. And they feed because the little fish that they're going to eat are also feeding, so everything sort of comes out and relaxes and that's when dinner time is, every six hours. Oh, so, so that's like why people. we had our dinner early, so that we would be in time yeah. out on the water with rods down for the fish's dinner. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of scouting to see if we can find some, some bait fish, maybe hook a salmon or two while trolling, and then we'll try some chicken with squid. For sure. Dave, so you made the call. We're gonna try catching Chinook with squid. Well, we're gonna try to catch the squid first. Catch the squid first by jigging yeah. and then using the squid that we catch to catch Chinook. Oh, you're already jigging? Jig. What the heck? What is this? Well, don't bring it near me because I know what happened Remember last time. Eat, right? I was just gonna say, they ink everywhere. Oh. Tiny. First Chinook biting the, the squid and the okay. camel. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Did you see the float go down? Oh, yeah, I was watching it. And it, was, it was so weird. Let's go. Dave's getting antsy. surface already? No, I didn't. It, it's it is. Right, right at the top, right below. Yeah. You can see it flashing under the water. Okay, once again, we're jigging for squid. 
I didn't expect this. I was, well, Dave said to drop the line down and jig, because you might get a schnook, but I was hooking up squid, and then suddenly I just felt it go heavy, my weight or my lure. way faster than I thought when you told me to drop the the line down and to you know try to jig for a chinook because we had two of the rods out were you jigging for were yeah, you jigging as well jigging, yeah. so rod was jigging we had two of the rods with floats on um, sitting there but then you stopped jigging because one of the floats went down you you had it on for a sec but it, it popped off bait was gone when you brought it back up and then Dave I was kind of just standing there he, was, he said you should drop down and I started jigging. I started off by getting um, a couple of squid, which we add to our bucket for bait for the Chinook. And then out of nowhere, bam, this fish hits and uh, brought him into the boat. So first first fish of our Kaika trip. So whenever we're producing these videos, Rod and I are always really prepared. When we started this evening fish off, we got all geared up, put our mics on, which isn't an easy task, when, especially wearing all these layers. We were trolling, waiting. Both him and I had both both cameras running, GoPro running, getting pictures, different shots, waiting, waiting, waiting. Our eyes were not leaving the rods. And then the moment we kind of like, yeah, let's just try this instead and kind of, um, what is it? Not, we don't slack, but we yeah. just kind of, uh, kind we of, back off a little bit. Yeah, relax we're, not as, bit. we're not as intense. That's when all the fish show up. So this Chinook was caught uh, by yours truly on the Shimano Claris rod, and we have as our, our lure of the day, or our jig of the day, uh, a half jig made by Gibbs Delta. So we're gonna, instead of me posing with this and talking more to you about it, I'm gonna drop it back in the water and I'm gonna catch another fish. Thank you so much everyone. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for more behind the scene content of hiking, foraging, and fishing, please follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Kitty Canhoffin.